Hello, beautiful fish lovers, and welcome to Puff Daddy Reef. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. This week on Puff Daddy Reef, we're taking you to Japan. place I go I try to look for aquariums. It actually says there's an aquarium right here. We're going to the Tokyo Tower Aquarium. I, I, I didn't look it up on any Yelp or anything. TripAdvisor so I have no idea what the reviews are but it should be pretty good. I imagine. It's in an iconic tower but I feel like every tower has to have some sort of aquarium so we'll see what's inside. All right, so we had a quick change of plans. Apparently the Tokyo Tower Aquarium has been closed and replaced with an anime world. So now we will be going to Sunshine Aquarium instead. So we made it into the Sunshine Aquarium. We've got an outdoor area and an indoor area. <laughs> Sunshine Aquarium is really a hidden gem. If you're ever in Tokyo, you can get on it in public transportation, and then it's on top of the shopping mall. It's kind of uh, phenomenal. And on the very top of the roof, you have that big outdoor area, and then you have great salt water. You also have some great fresh water. So one of the things that really impressed me um, was not just the coral and how good that was, but they also had these tanks that were fake coral. And most of the time, fake coral tanks don't look very good for me. Um, you see them a lot at like restaurants, doctor's offices, other places where they want less maintenance. And here, I don't think they were going for less maintenance. I think they were going for fake coral just so they can have a different display of fish. But these fake coral tanks are absolutely phenomenal. 
and then I realized uh, why they look so good. So I was passing by this one tank and I kind of did two loops through the aquarium and there was this staff member there meticulously scrubbing every single little nook and cranny of this coral with a little brush and I came back at the end of my trip and she was still there scrubbing every single piece of the coral. So they really do a great job keeping this clean and when you keep it clean the fake coral displays can just look phenomenal. Uh, so we're gonna enjoy this but also um, there is something really cool that I saw there and it begins with ISO and ends with pod so let's check out that as well. <laughs> We had a great time in Sunshine Aquarium, great fish, great coral, great displays, even isopods. They even give uh, love letters to their fish with little snacks in them. It's amazing, but we're not done yet. We're going to take a trip to go fishing in a restaurant, and then I'll do my drawing. Everyone knows on my channel how I like to go urban fishing. Today we're going extremely urban. We are in the Shinjuku area of Tokyo and we're gonna go catch some fish. Follow me and I'll show you what I mean. I'm trying to catch a flounder, but I might get a sea bream. Alright, so there's a flounder down there. That's what I'm trying to catch. I basically gotta wait. A rod. And some shrimps. Where'd the flounder go? Here, flounder, flounder, flounder. There's the flounder. There's the flounder incoming. This one circling. We're gonna catch this sea bream. Two 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little adventure at the end of the video. If you like fishing, subscribe to my channel, Big Town Fishing on YouTube. I do a lot of urban fishing. It's kind of like a random channel that I upload every once in a while, unlike Puff Daddy Reef, which I'm trying to stay a little more regular in. And thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you've made it, you are the official hashtag Coral Crew. And we're gonna be doing a prize drawing right now. So if you saw my post on Instagram a few days ago, where if you commented and tagged two friends, I'd enter you to, into the drawing, you have been entered, and we're gonna do the drawing right now. And if you want to be in the drawing in the next video in two weeks, that'll probably be on my skimmer, unless I get some other sort of product in the meantime, uh, we are going to do a second drawing. So on the end of this video, uh, you can just uh, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell, and leave a comment, uh, preferably in the comment, maybe a comment about the video, but I'd really like to see your Instagram hashtag if you have one. I follow everyone that does reef keeping on Instagram. I don't care about how many people I follow. If you do reefing, I'll follow you. Um, so I look forward to that. So like, comment, subscribe, leave that comment with your Instagram hashtag. It also makes it a lot easier for when I do the drawing to, con uh, to contact you. Uh, because the DM system's a lot better on Instagram. But we're gonna do the drawing right now. We had six people that basically fulfilled the requirements to enter. So this is a very small drawing, high probability of winning. Uh, just really quick, I'll read out the names so everyone can follow them on Instagram. They're all reefers as far as I know. So we have Scooby2. We have, who else do we have here? We have, uh, Boston Coral, so be sure to follow them on Insta. We have Colorado Springs underscore Reef. Check them out. Holla at your Reef Boy. I like that channel a lot. Check them out. Also, they're on YouTube, so check them out there. And Big Daddy, Big underscore Daddy underscore K underscore 71. All right, so that's who is in the running for this drawing. We'll mix it up. And the winner is... Holla at your reef boy! So, holla at your reef boy. I'll holla at you to send me a DM on Instagram with your address. I will send you a Puff Daddy Reef t-shirt. And like I said, if you want a t-shirt, like and subscribe, comment on this video. Leave me your Instagram tag on this video on YouTube. If you don't have an Instagram, that's okay. Um, you'll still be qualified. So, leave that information and we will do another drawing in two weeks for another reef shirt. Thank you very much for joining me on Puff Daddy Reef. I will catch you next time.